Okay, here in this video you're going to see how to use the 36 to 90 rule when you're given the length of the long leg. Okay, now how, as we said in class, the, there are three sides to the right triangle when you have the 36 to 90 rule happening. When you've got a 30 degree angle, a 60 degree angle, and a 90 degree angle. Opposite the 30 degree angle is the short side. So this is my short side. Opposite the 60 degree angle is my long side. And opposite the 90 degree angle is my hypotenuse. Okay, the rule is the long side is the short side times the square root of 3. And the hypotenuse is the length of the short side times 2. Okay, so everything works backwards too. If you know the long side, you divide it by the square root of 3 to get this. And if you know the short side, you multiply it by 2 to get this. And that's pretty much it. So, let me put the measurements in here. This is my 60 degree angle, this is my 30 degree angle. So, you see here, if this is 60, then this is my long side. Okay. When you're given the long side, it's very easy. Long side can go to short side. If you know the long side, we can get the short side. Since you multiply the short side by the square root of 3 to get the long side, going backwards, you divide by the square root of 3. So, if I divide 10 square root of 3 by square root of 3, let's see. 10 square root of 3 divided by the square root of 3. These cancel. We find out that the short side is 10. And then getting the long side, you just double the short side. So the hypotenuse must be 20. That's it. Okay, and it works out. 10 times the square root of 3 gives me the long side. 10 times 2 gives me the hypotenuse 20. All done. All right, second problem. Same idea. Here's the 60 degree angle. Across from it is my long side. So when you're given the long side first, you want to get the short side. Well, this is the short side, so it's 22 square root of 3 divided by the square root of 3. The square root of 3 is cancel. I find out that the long side here is just 22. And we know you multiply the short side by 2 to get the hypotenuse. 22 times 2 is 44. We're done. Okay. It's very nice when you're given the long side and you just it's a number with the square root of 3 at the end. All you gotta do is divide by square root of 3, you get the short side. Let's see. Next problem, the opposite the 60, again, here's my long side, which means I'm gonna get the short side first. Opposite the 30, so it's gonna be 20 square root of 15 divided by square root of 3. Well, I can divide my square roots. 15 divided by 3 gives me 5, so I know that this side is going to be 20 square root of 5 because the square root of 15 divided by the square root of 3 is the square root of 5. That's the short side. If I know the short side, I can get the hypotenuse. I just double it. 20 square root of 5 times 2 is 40 square root of 5. Okay? It's 20 square root of 5 times 2, just double the 20. Okay, we're done there. Moving right along. Again, this is the long side. This is my long side, which means I can get the short side, opposite the 30. What you do is you do whatever the long side is, divided by the square root of 3. I'm not going to divide the 2, but I am going to divide the square root of 21 and the square root of 3. The square root of 21 divided by square root of 3, 21 divided by 3 is 7. So that means the long, short side here, I'm sorry, is 2 times the square root of 7. And then getting the hypotenuse is easy, just as usual. You multiply the short side by 2 to get the hypotenuse. 2 times the square root of 7 times 2. Well, 2 times 2 is 4. So my hypotenuse here is 4 square root of 7. I'm done. All right, moving right along. Now, the problems down here are a little tougher, but not by much. Here, we're still given the long side, which means we're still going to get the short side. Here's my short side, and just like all the other problems, I'm going to divide the long side by the square root of 3. Now, sometimes you can't, there's nothing to cancel. When you have this, you leave it the way it is, but in math, we don't like to leave square roots in the denominator, so we like to rationalize the denominator. So let me bring this down here 17 over square root of 3. We know we can multiply by any number as long as we have the same numerator and denominator. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by the square root of 3 over the square root of 3. The reason I can do this is because square root of 3 divided by square root of 3 is 1. So I'm, I'm really multiplying by 1. But what's nice about this is 17 times the square root of 3 is a 17 square root of 3. 
but square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. This is what I'm going to put here. This is the short side. 17 times the square root of 3 divided by 3. Okay, whenever you have a radical symbol or a square root in the denominator, you have to multiply by it to get rid of it. And if you multiply the denominator, you must multiply the numerator. Okay, so this is what really goes here. And just like usual, you multiply the short side by 2 to get the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse here is 17 square root of 3 over 3, the short side, times 2. I'm just going to double the 17 and get 34 square root of 3 over 3. So my hypotenuse is 34 square root of 3 over 3. Okay, these problems are a little tougher. And we're going to see another one. Same idea. Here's the long side, or I'm sorry, the medium sized angle, 60 degrees, which means my long leg is opposite it. Okay, so this is my long leg, which means I'm going to get the short leg here by dividing the long leg by the square root of 3. 4 divided by the square root of 3. Just like before, I have to rationalize this. I can't leave the square root in the denominator. So I have to multiply by the square root of 3 over the square root of 3. This will give me, I'm going to just write it here, 4 square root of 3 over, well square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. This is the short leg. And then all I have to do to get the long leg, I'm sorry, not the long leg, the hypotenuse, the long, the longest side, is double the short leg. So the hypotenuse is going to be 4 square root of 3 over 3 times 2. Well, that gives me 8 square root of 3 over 3. And that is the length of the hypotenuse. And we're done. Okay, so again, the rule is multiply the short leg. When you're given the long leg, Divide it by the square root of 3 to get the short leg, and then double the short leg to get the hypotenuse. Divide the long leg by the square root of 3 to get the short leg, double the short leg to get the hypotenuse. And that's about it. Hope this video was informative. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the box below. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, have a great day.